Hey guys, welcome back. I am here with another video. This time I have a bunch of empties and when I say a bunch, I literally mean a bunch. I have so many empties. They've been accumulating every time I think that I'm going to sit down and film this video. Something comes up, I have to go somewhere and it just does not happen. But it's finally happening now. So let's go ahead and get through this. So first up, I have um, from Soapbox, which I've talked about them before. Um, I kind of collaborated with them a few months ago. I think it was in November. And they're one of my favorite hair care brands. They've got so many amazing good products. But I used up their shampoo, or no, I'm sorry, this is their conditioner. And it's the coconut oil condition conditioner. And it's for moisturizing and nourishing your hair. So good. I'm currently using their charcoal one, which I really like too. And then my absolute favorite product from them is their coconut oil rejuvenating deep conditioner. This stuff is amazing. It leaves your, your hair feeling so silky and so smooth and so soft and it smells incredible. I've also got a bunch of little junk elephant products, a bunch of little sample sizes or trial sizes um, that I either purchased at Sephora or received as like a birthday gift. Um, I have their number nine jelly cleanser which I really liked. I have their Protini polypeptide cream was really good. Um, I just used this one up the other day. It's the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. Um, this one was really nice too. I liked that a lot. This one was probably my favorite. It's the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. That one was really nice. And then this one I really enjoyed also. It's the Bee Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. So I have all those that I used. I have a few of these. Um, face powders. I'm looking to see if I have any more in here, but I have some of these face powders from Rimmel. It's my favorite Stay Matte Pressed Powder. It's in Transparent. I just bought three more last night because it's my absolute go-to. I have um, a toner from Up and Up, which is a Target brand, and it's just a salicylic acid acne treatment. I use it morning and night to keep my face clear. From Sunday rain. I have the scrub away body scrub in acai berry. This was really really nice. I got it at Beautycon this past summer. From Rock Your Hair, I have dry shampoo, spray it clean dry shampoo. This was okay. Not my favorite dry shampoo, but it works. I also have um, the Bath and Body Works Holiday Traditions Twisted Peppermint Body Cream. Um, one of my favorite scents, especially for the winter time around Christmas. I have some lip balms, chapsticks. This one's a Carmex one. This one's the cake batter chapstick. I used up the Revlon Candid Foundation um, in 120 Buff. I really like this. I got this at Beautycon also. I was color match for it. First, I didn't care for it, but then I actually really ended up liking it a lot. So I might actually pick this one up again in the future. I used up a bunch of toothpaste. I've got this Colgate Max Fresh. That one's my favorite. I also have Colgate Cavity Protection, two of those. This was from a hotel that I stayed at during the summer. It's um, a Verbena body lotion. It was really, really nice. This is something I'm very sad that I used up because I love it. It's from Sue. It's the Purifying Brightening Peeling Gel. Um, it's one of those gels that you um, apply to your face and then just like dead skin just flakes everywhere and it's super disgusting, but it makes your face feel so good. I believe you can get this at Walmart. Love this stuff. It's incredible. I used up some migraine medication. Um, headaches, you know. I used up from Peter Thomas Roth, the Retinol Fusion PM Eye Cream. I've talked about this a lot before. I love this. It's really good at diminishing wrinkles and fine lines that you have under your eyes. I want to get some more of that soon, but it's very expensive, so I'm hoping there will be a sale. I also used up the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum. I did like this, um, but I feel like there was not very much in this particular container, so it didn't last a long time. I also used up this Chapstick Duo, used up both sides, another Chapstick in Classic. I used up lots of lip products. I cannot stand not having something on my lips. I used up another lip balm. This is Guest Cheek Grapefruit. I used up some floss, floss your teeth every day. Um, some hand sanitizer. This was in Warm Vanilla Sugar. It's still got some liquid inside, but it's 
really watery, so I'm just gonna toss that. I used up from Ico the Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner, really nice. From Maybelline the Tattoo Studio Brow Tint Pen in Deep Brown, I usually use this to um, do the starting point of my brows. I used up some mascaras. This one's from Collab, the Works. Mascara is like the best mascara I've ever used. I also used a blush sensational um, from Maybelline, which was also really good. I used up from Origins the Checks and Balances Frothing Face Wash. I actually don't like this product from Origins, and I'm a big fan of them, so it's kind of disappointing. I used up some dandruff shampoo. I've talked about this a billion times. This one's from Walmart, it's just their Equate brand from Up and Up Facial Cleanser, um, just facial cleanser. I am still using the same one right now. I have a new bottle of it. I've got some more mascaras. These ones actually were not used up, but they needed to be tossed because they were super old. I have, um, let's see, this one from Tarte. It's like it's cameras, lights, camera lashes. I have this voluminous base mascara primer from L'Oreal. I have this one from Rimmel. It's the Scandalized Rocket Curves. I have this one from Urban Decay. It's the Skyscraper Multi Benefit Mascara. I have from M Cosmetics the Lash Gallery. I gotta find places to put this stuff. From Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I have from Physicians Formula the Mascara and the Fibers. Things are starting to fall. And then I also have, I don't remember the brand for this. It says Release Beauty on it, but I know that that's not what it is. But it's the Transplanting Gel and Fibers. I have the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, or not mascara, I'm sorry, eyeliner. Some more floss. The CYO Long Lasting Foundation. This stuff was amazing. It's the most neutral foundation that I've ever used and I cannot find it anywhere now. It used to be at Walgreens and I think they just discontinued it straight up. So that's kind of a bummer. I also have from Grande Lash. It's their Grande Primer. Uh, ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This was really nice. I really liked it. From It Cosmetics, Confidence in a Cream was really nice. Some deodorant from Secret. And some breath spray from Hello. And then moving on to the second box, I have some Garnier shampoo and conditioner, which I really liked. This is the Grow Strong formula. It smells like apples. Um, a Derma E Advanced Peptides and Collagen Eye Cream. The shampoo, the tea tree shampoo from Soapbox. This one was actually my favorite. I prefer this one over the charcoal one that I currently have. So when I pick up a new one, it will be this one. Um, I also have from Skin Fix, their foaming clay cleanser. This was really nice. I used up some makeup brush shampoo from Sephora. I used up the Derma E Acne Deep Pore Cleansing Wash. I used up the Bioderma um, Micellar Cleansing Solution. Didn't really care for it. I prefer the Garnier one over it. And then I also used up some allergy medication and some Advil. And that is everything that I used up in, I don't know, like the last six months it feels like. This stuff has literally just been accumulating and sitting. So now I can finally recycle it properly and start all over. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing the products that I used up. If you have any questions about them, leave them down below and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Words, I'll paint an invitation to let you in.